Hi my loves, good morning and welcome back to Vlogtober. Before we start today's vlog, I'm going to give a little bit of love to Monica Pinata, who is sponsoring this part of the video. So, so excited to be working with Monica Pinata again. And I've got a few new necklaces here from their October edit, which I am super excited about. Before I start rambling, let's open them up. There is a little bit of a theme here because they're all, I think, similar necklaces on different lengths. So this is the long one and it is like sparkling at me. I'll get Zach to do a few little close-ups for you so that you can see them a little bit better. But this is gorgeous. Even more beautiful than I was expecting actually because all the little links in it, the metal is like beaten slightly so that it's really really sparkling. Again we'll insert some clips here of this necklace. But yeah it is a very very delicate Alta textured chain necklace in the longest length. So next up we have this gorgeous piece. Again same thing so the links are all textured so it's really glowing and sparkling at me. So so beautiful but this is a kind of more chunky chain um, I believe this is the shortest one I've got, um, gorgeous gold outer necklace as well and really the I loved the kind of look of their October edit with the different layers of necklaces that are all kind of, because they're all similar style I think it's kind of a way of doing a layered look that's still quite simple and minimalist. See that one on, how pretty is that? This is the one of the more medium lengths of the outer chain. Obviously this one's in silver so I love the mixed metals. I mix metals all the time. I haven't done a um, necklace look like this for such a long time but I am loving the layering. And a little bonus piece that I wasn't expecting. We've got this gorgeous ring with a gorgeous green stone in it. I love this, plus it fits perfectly. Look how beautiful that is, oh my goodness. I can tell I'm going to be wearing that one all the time. Oh, it's so beautiful. You know I love a green. So let me just get up a moment so you can kind of see them. We'll insert other clips and stuff in too. But how nice do the necklaces look together? I just think they're so beautiful. So yes, thank you so much to Monica Vinita for working with me again. I do have a discount code. I will put it on screen. I will put it in the description box as well, along with all the T's and C's. Definitely make use of that. I know we're coming up for that time of the year. And I really love Monica Vinita. I think it's such a wonderful brand. All of their sterling silver, all of their gold for mail, their gold plating is 100% recycled. All the packaging they send is 100% recyclable with the reusable pouches. They are carbon neutral and they're really one of those jewellery brands which is leading the way with sustainability which makes me so so pleased and so proud to work with them. But yes my loves, uh, we're gonna head out today, Zach and I, we're gonna go um, shoot a few pictures I think. Uh, let's head out, it's a gorgeous day outside so let's make the most of it and get out of here and I'm gonna wear my new jewels which I'm very pleased with. I'm gonna be admiring this ring all day I can tell. My loves, so I just thought I would show you today's outfit. Before we head out, I'm actually, I think, going to switch this out for my black dolman, which I also really like with this outfit, just for warmth, basically, because I don't think this shirt's warm enough. But I also like this outfit with the shirt, but yeah, obviously wearing my incredible silver jeans from Diesel. I'm wearing my Diesel belt as, as well again. This super old body from Topshop and this Frankie Shop shirt, which I love. Something about the shape of the shirt is just like absolutely perfect. And then I'm wearing my Prada boots. So yes, but I'm gonna switch it out for my black Free People Dolman, I think. But anyway, let's hit the road and see how we go. But yeah, I knew I was going to be um, trying on my new jewels today, uh, my new jewelry. So I thought I wanted to play up the mixed metals thing. So obviously I've got my gold Monica Vinader rings on. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get Zach to do close-ups for my Monica Vinader bits today. So yeah, I wanted to play with the mixed metals thing. Um, so that's hence why I'm wearing my silver jeans. And I think it's come out real nice.
so <laughs> I obviously spoke to you last from here. We've been out and about, done our pictures, which I'm sure you'll see on Instagram or TikTok or <laughs> somewhere or other. We just had a little wander around Camden, as you saw, had a quick lunch in the market. Then I changed, took some more pics, and now we're home. We were gonna go to the pergola, but then I just thought the outfits didn't really suit the pergola. I used my brain. <laughs> I was like, actually, you know what? I think Camden's the better place to go for these. Plus, we can get food there and whatever. But I thought I'd just show you the second outfit because I also really like it, although it's not really coming up on cameras. No, that's kind of what it looks like, but got my cargoes on again, wearing them all the time. This gorgeous Regina Pio jacket, which I got from Farfetch a little while ago. This mango jumper, which is a staple in my wardrobe. I've worn it so much, had it for a few years. And my Converse. So that is outfit number two and I love it and I'll probably repeat this outfit too because it's so comfy. I could definitely see this being a good weekend with the baby outfit. And I'm all about outfit repeating these days. Okay, if it's a good outfit, I'm gonna wear it again. Yeah, you've got one, two, three on. Oh no, your ring's coming off. Thank you, John. Thank you. We have got fajitas for dinner tonight, which I am looking forward to. And this has got her version. Hi, my darlings. Apologies for my makeup. It's definitely coming off in a not so cute fashion. Um, hang on, you're a little bit lower than you can be. So, Zach was out again tonight, so just me on bedtime, but Inez was in the most gorgeous mood this evening, just back to her normal self, and it makes me think, makes me realise that she's definitely been off, probably for the past couple of weeks because of these teeth, or just something, something's not been right in her little brain. Get this, guys. I'm gonna take you up because... <laughs> It's not a great angle. She actually slept till 6 a.m. last night, so she slept from 9 till 6 in her cot. That is the first time she's done that, maybe ever. I think her longest stints pre four month sleep regression were about eight hours. So, anyway, and also that was a long time ago, anyway. <laughs> so, it's the longest in a long, 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 long time and I don't expect it to happen again anytime soon or tonight. If it does, I'll be amazed, but even if it does, I'll be like, well, again, I'm not really expecting it to continue because that's just the baby sleep life and I don't feel like she's fully ready to sleep through the night or anything. It's, you know, nice to have the occasional night like that. Of course, I slept like shit because um, I was up <laughs> wondering what on earth was going on and why she wasn't waking up so just checking the monitor and Zach <laughs> was waking me up as well because obviously I'm not used to um, sleeping next to him the whole night or most of the night these days so I didn't sleep amazingly but yeah it was a surprise and you know I need to find some wood to touch here I'm going to touch some wood I'll just say this <laughs> a few months ago she would never have slept past 1am in her cot and much more and often earlier like 11 12 from the time we put her down so really like a couple hours in her cot um on average so this was at the time very unimaginable she has <laughs> been doing a few longer stretches so it's closer to 2 or 3 a.m. when she wakes up again I don't expect it to last forever and I'm always expecting things to change but just to say sometimes things do change even though you you know you change absolutely nothing at all like we've been doing nothing different it's all been her really so I also went down at 6 thinking I'm never going to be able to get her back to sleep because one thing I have been noticing over the past couple of weeks whilst I think she's been having some teeth trouble and various different things it's been really difficult not difficult but much longer than normal to get her back to sleep after the first wake the feed is very very long she's very fiddly 
um, which I find really irritating, especially in the middle of the night. I was thinking to myself, there's just absolutely no way she's going to go back to sleep very easily. Um, I know 6am is a very normal wake up time for lots of children, but as I've said before, Ines is a 9 to 9 kind of girl. I'm sure we could have her have like 10 hours of overnight sleep and then do a longer day nap. But this seems to be the routine that she's kind of fallen into and that she prefers. Um, and we have to wake her up at nine still. <laughs> yeah, I was like, listen, this is gonna be a bit of a fight to get her back to sleep. Because any, anyone that's resettled a baby in the night will know that the later it is, or the earlier in the morning, or the, yeah, the later in the morning it is, um, the harder it is to get them back to sleep because they've already had a good big chunk of sleep. I was like, she's had nine hours solid sleep. <laughs> so, there's no way she's gonna go back to sleep for me, but it was a long-ish feed, definitely longer than a few weeks ago, but no longer than we've been doing the past few nights, and she was much more calm, like much, much calmer, much less fiddly, um, which was really a dream. So we went back to the sleep, um, and Zach came and get, she, she, she woke up to feed a couple of times in the time between six and nine when Zach came to get us, but, might have been one, might have been two, I don't know. Um, but anyway, the best night's sleep she's had in a long time in terms of signalling. As I say, this is not me being like, mm, yay, this is going to happen for me every night, but it's more just a word to parents who feel like they have a child who will literally never be able to do that because Yes, as I said a few months ago, it's really it was really unthinkable. And there was like a time a few months before that, I think around that tricky one year stage, when you know she would barely even be in there for two hours, like maybe an hour. Um, and I would have to, if Zach and I were watching something, I'd have to go resettle her in the middle of a TV show, or whatever. So, and she feeds a lot. She's big on her milk still. She, as I said, she really loves cuddles. She really loves bed sharing. I'm sure she's not gonna drop that habit anytime soon and nor would I want her to because I also enjoy the cuddles. I would like a good chunk of sleep at the start of the night. So I'm definitely not complaining about her sleeping a little bit longer. Yes, it's more just for those parents who feel like that will never happen. It might improve very slowly, like it has done with us, very, very slowly. I feel like I'm jinxing everything right now. <laughs> You also might just get some out of the blue good sleeps, kind of randomly, um, and it will hopefully just over the next year or so continue to slowly improve, and we'll have more li more nights like tonight and less nights like we had a few months ago. What I'm hoping, not expecting miracles around here. Um, I find that if I go, if I just expect nothing, slash expect the worst then you can't be disappointed, do you know what I mean? So anyway, I've made myself a hot chocolate tonight because I haven't had one for at least a week. I wanna say more, I wanna say longer, but I don't know. You guys can tell me if I've had one during October, but I feel like I want one tonight. Like I say, my energy's really been dipping. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's really annoying me and getting me down. Um, but my energy is just so low. I know I haven't even been doing my 20 minutes of movement. It's such a simple task. It feels like I should be able to do it. We are juggling a fair number of things at the minute. So I'm trying to just cut myself a bit of slack. I just don't have the discipline. I don't have the energy mentally or physically at the minute. I'll try and do some more at some point this month. But if it's something I have to wait till after October for to sort of focus on properly, then that might be what happens because you know what I said about taking the rest instead like at the moment I feel like I need the rest instead also my back's been killing me but I'll tell you what it is what it is is definitely so my back's been absolutely killing me and I think the thing is, is that Innes has got, definitely got heavier like significantly heavier in the past few couple of months she's much more of like a child now and I've got a real weakness in my like lower core like this bit and here whereas before before Inez before pregnancy before pandemic I would have spent a lot of time sucked in like with pregnancy and with a little bit of like just relaxation about 
how I'm presenting and looking, I definitely don't suck in as much, which is good in some ways, but in other ways, it's really, really giving me a lot of weakness here. And so I think um, I'm using my back so much more for a lot of heavy lifting, which I shouldn't do. I've also got a lot of weakness in my arms, because what I'm finding is, obviously, when I'm holding it, I'm leaning back, really, really horrible and terrible. And I need to like tilt forward like this a little bit. But of course, when I do that, when I'm holding her, puts loads more um, kind of uh, weight on my arms. So I need to get, I need to really need to build strength in my arms and in my core and get my core much stronger again. So I'm trying to be super, super aware of it. Um, there's a lot of pelvic instability still for me. I don't know if it's because I'm still breastfeeding, so I've got quite, I've got relaxing still in my system. I don't know if that still is the case 18 months. Um, but I just can tell I've got a lot of pelvic instability still um, postpartum. So and and that's also like that weakness in the glutes and the hamstrings. So basically, I need to work. I need to work out everything basically to stop my back from hurting. But it is mega painful at the minute. But yeah, I definitely need to do my arms. Definitely need to do my core. Definitely need to do like my glutes and stuff. And hopefully that would make a big difference. But. <laughs> Yes, finding the time to do that is tough. Really tough. Um, slash the energy. But yeah, so I'm annoyed with myself for letting my 20 minutes of movement fall through, but we'll pick back up on it. You know, these things happen in life. Anyway, my darlings, I'm gonna go upstairs with my hot chocolate, sit down for a minute before I get ready for the, get ready for bed. Right, my loves, apologies for the crazy hair. It's time for me to head to bed. Super excited for it. Spent ages um, picking out some clothing for a job that I'm going to be doing this month, which was very enjoyable because I'm not shopping much at the moment and I really hope the pieces arrive. The outfit that I'm thinking of comes together. Sometimes it's hard if you, if you are doing it for a specific outfit or a specific look, it is obviously hard to style just using your imagination. I find it hard anyway, but um, hopefully it all comes together. Zach and I made a little pact that we would not go away for a couple of months, like on the weekends and stuff, because we really, because our friends and family are mostly up north or just scattered around the country in general, we are often on the road, especially because we don't really have, especially now the babies in the spare room, like we don't really have a lot of space to host particularly because like when I see my friends we do like weekends with all five of us so or six of us including myself so it's just a little bit tricky to host we often end up doing stuff at the farm and stuff anyway so we do end up hosting but in general um, we're always going up north and doing all sorts of things and it was really affecting our ability to get into a good routine. I think when you are self-employed, work for yourself, it can get really confusing and difficult to get into a routine. I think finally, especially also we were in America and so we never really recovered from that in terms of like getting back into a really good routine, blah blah blah. Anyway, I think we're finally really hitting a stride, it feels really good feels like I can actually think and create content and do the things that I want to do, do things that I've had in the works for a long time. It does feel good in that sense to be back home. So yeah, building my exercise routine back into that is gonna be important at some stage. But anyway, my loves, I'm gonna to go to bed um, and sleep. Super excited about it. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.